Hello, in this video we are going to cover tile maps within Cocoa Studio. A tile map is basically a way of representing a bunch of small images called a well a tile map or a tile set and each individual image is referred to as tiles. So it's a great way of creating plain areas such as a grass. You, you can mix and match as well. So sort of game like Zelda, that sort of stuff you use this tile maps, you can use 2D, you can use isometric, other various forms of tile mapping. We're not really covering what tile mapping is and how to create tile maps, but how to actually use a tile map file within Cocoa Studio. Before I even do anything, I want to right click one of these files. Let's go to containing folder. And we've got these three files, AKA what we've got in the resources. You might be wondering why am I showing you that? It's gonna be relevant in a moment. So if I just drag on a tile map, by default it has a image as do literally all the objects. And if I just go to tile map file, the only feature is setting a file and it has to be a .tmx. Now what I'm gonna do is go to desktop where I've got a tile map file. I'm going to double click it it's important if I just move it down a little bit I think yeah it needs a bit of resizing so let's just do that first Oop. just can't seem to get the edge there we go okay so let's just zoom in now we can create that a little bigger, or make it a little bigger, I should say. Yeah, that's fine. And what it's done is imported the .tmx file. If we right click and go to open containing folder, we don't have four files now, as there is in the resources, we have five. Because we've got this ISO test.png, which is basically the images it's using for the tile map. And if I go to my desktop, it has the .tmx file and the .png because in the .tmx file it specifies this and it automatically imports it even though it's not there. So that's just something to bear in mind. You obviously need the .png, which you'll have if you've used it creating or if you created it using a proper .tmx tool. So really, that's all there is to it for .tmx files in Coca Studio. We won't be showing you the code in terms of how to use it because Cocoa Studio doesn't support code. So we'll have a link in the description to our API guide which shows you Cocoa Studio X and Cocoa Studio JS implementation for tile maps using Cocoa Studio. So if you have any questions, feel free to post them on sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash question.php. Don't worry, there'll be a link in the description to that so you don't need to remember that. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.